Colored Valley Cooks and today we're making a simple casserole with ground beef that's easy and delicious. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to buy some long grain and wild rice. I got the cheap brand because you got six ounces instead of four point something ounces. So buy whichever one you want but I would rather have more the merrier. Alright, I do not want to take the time to prepare my rice first, and this is going to be in the oven for an hour. So we're going to add a little liquid, a little more liquid um, in, in the bowl, that way our rice will cook at the same time and we don't have to pre-cook it first. Uh, this asks you, I'm just going to see how much liquid goes in this rice, two and a half cups of water, um, and one tablespoon of butter, margarine, or oil, microwave, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the directions call for two and a half cups of water. So I'm going to add the half cup of milk. We're going to put in a, one cup of really hot water. And then we're going to mix the two together with the seasoning pack that came with the rice. Use a wire whisk and whisk it up good. And this will add enough liquid, I think, that our rice will cook at the same time while all of this is in the oven. Now, I also am going to not drain my mushrooms. I'm going to use a can of mushrooms that are four ounces, and I will use this liquid from the mushrooms in this as well instead of draining it in the sink. That'll add a little that'll add a little moisture to it too. Okay? So we'll put that there for now. Why not use that good stuff? Now I'm gonna put in a can of cream of chicken. Yes, we're making an old-fashioned southern casserole. So we're gonna use it's not old-fashioned, but it's something mom always made, right? Cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. And these are your 10 ounce normal size cans of soup. And I used Laura Lynn because it's 79 cents instead of over a dollar. And it's good. So we're mixing all that up. Good. I'm using a whisk so that it gets mixed in there well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the rice. I'm going to mix the rice in here. I'm going to mix a whole onion chopped into here. And the mushrooms. Smells delish. All right, you're just going to brown a couple of pounds of ground beef. And I've already browned a lot of ground beef because I got it on sale and I'm making several casseroles today that I can freeze if I want to and have later uh, when I'm busy. So this is one cup, two cups. I think three and a half cups is plenty for this dish. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to butter some crackers. So I'm going to get a bowl. Okay, this is about a half a pack of a nine ounce pack of crackers because that's what I got. I've got a, about three tablespoons of butter that's at room temperature. I'm actually just going to take this butter, and I know some of y'all are going to frown on this, but I don't care. I'm going to take it in my hands, and I'm going to rub it, and I'm just going to butter these crackers just like this. You gotta rub them in your fingers so that they all get a little butter on them, okay? So that's buttered oyster crackers, yummy yum. Now you're gonna take your throwaway casserole dish. I got a little butter on my hands. <laughs> I'll put it in the bottom of the pan. Then I'm gonna wash my hands. Spread 
Spray your casserole dish. All right. I'm going to take the meat and add it to our liquid mixture and mix it up. Now that's about a pound to a pound and a half. That's about a pound to a pound and a half of ground beef. I actually don't think it's quite runny enough to cook that rice and it not dry out. So we're going to add another half cup of milk. So it's going to be a total of a cup of milk, y'all. So you'll have about a total of a cup of milk in this. And, you know, if you put more ground beef in it, you know, it may take a little bit more. But this looks good. And when the rice plumps up, it'll be pretty much a hamburger and rice casserole. But, of course, it does have the pieces of mushrooms in it. If you've got kids that frown on mushrooms, don't put the can of mushrooms in it, of course. But... If you don't, then put them in there. Make it tasty. Now we're going to take these buttered crackers and sprinkle them on the top. I'm going to bake this at 350 for about an hour. Now, if you think your crackers are gonna get too brown, put some foil over the top of it or turn it down to 325. Everybody's oven's a little bit different, so you watch you watch the crackers. Check on them in about 30 minutes. If they're getting too brown, turn the oven down to 325. Just cook it about an hour, enough long enough to get your rice done. Should work. Let's get this in the oven. Time to get out our casserole. I left it in the oven. I turned off the oven until time to eat the pepper. Now this one I'm actually going to let come up to room temperature and then I am going to um, freeze it and we're going to have it in uh, another time. Let's eat a let's eat a cracker. The crackers got soft with us covering it up. And let's make sure all the rice is done. It is. And we'll get a bite. Creamy, delicious. Woo! It's good. Good casserole for supper. Simple, delicious, easy. A mom. Pleaser. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks. Love y'all. Bye.